Let's take a look at the other side of the game, our new Radiant AI system. It allows NPCs to have full, 24-7 schedules. These NPCs are not scripted. We give them general goals, and they figure out on their own how to accomplish them. This is the western city of Coral. There are nine main cities in the game and dozens of smaller settlements. Over a thousand NPCs live in Oblivion, all with their own schedules and jobs. Cities are a great place to start a lot of your quests. Each city has its own unique shops, good for trading, breaking into at night, making it your own. Good morning! The NPCs also have dynamic conversations. These are based on your actions and what's going on in the world. It's a great way to pick up info. Nilos! Hello! Good to see you, Maris. What news have you heard? The news is bad. Rumor has it there has been an attack on Kavach. They say the Daedra attack in great numbers. Brave news indeed. Perhaps my axe can be of use. I would imagine so. Goodbye, Nilos. And good luck. Hello. What can this humble bard do for you in these... My characters just times? learned a new topic based on what they were talking about. I'm gonna ask him about that. I wish I knew more about it. Strange gates have appeared, and Daedra swarm the Legion soldiers. They say the streets run red with blood, and the Daedra will soon overtake the entire city. If you're good with a blade, they could use you there. So now I have a quest. Gods protect you. This is a really natural way of doing this. You overhear a conversation, learn a new topic, and ask someone about it. Let's head into this bookstore. We'll see some of the other things the rating AI allows. Oh, hello. I was actually just about to lock up the store. Is there something I can help you with? Topics that I don't know the information about yet are colored in gold. If you're looking for books, you're in the right place. I asked about Coral. Now that topic is great. This tells you that if you ask it again, you'll get info you already know, so you can quickly see what topics you can learn something new about. This is often based on how much someone likes you. You can use your speechcraft skills to make them like you more. You can admire them, bully them, even tell jokes. And by moving the cursor around and kind of read the subtle cues on her face what she might like, let's try the joke. That's a good one. An orc in a party dress. I love it. So now she likes me more. Everything I've heard is horrible. Creatures coming from magical gates. Whole cities being destroyed. It's awful. The whole thing is terrifying, actually. Would you mind staying around for a while? Just to keep me company. The words you choose in dialogue also affect how they feel about you. There's no reason to be rude. You can leave now if you want. Oh, silly me. I should have known you were only teasing. Please, come on upstairs with me. The game tracks every NPC and how they feel about you. Making friends is a good strategy, but killing them could be too. Who's a good dog? Even Thunder here uses Raiding AI. She's decided she wants to practice her marksman skill, so she's picked up a bow over here. She's decided she needs ammo, so she equips the quiver. And she can practice her skills. The same skill system governs her. And uh, she sucks. Terrible. Just terrible. I need a little pick-me-up. And they'll even detect potions in the environment if they need them, so she's going to drink this potion, it's going to increase her marksman skill, have the same effect on her that it would have on me if I drank it. It automatically raises her skill, and now she's good at this activity. And that just works through the system. That's better. Are you hungry? Is that why you were so She's grumpy? picked up the deer meat here. The NPCs can pick up items. They can leave them for sure other characters or creatures they like. Get some reading, done. reading AI allows Thunder to detect the deer meat. He's going to eat it. And just like if I ate the deer meat, it's going to give him a stat boost. He's going to run around more. He has more energy. 
They'll take breaks, sit, read books, use items in the world. Oblivion has over 400 books, many of which raise your skills. I said mommy is reading. They can even cast spells too. She's paralyzed thunder here. They'll eat if they need to. How they get the food is up to them. They can steal it, they can buy it, they can grow it. Sleep when they want to. During certain times of the day, always good time for Thieves Guild folks to break in or for vampires to do other unnatural things. That is a bad puppy. I think perhaps you'd better go. I'm not feeling like myself at the moment. We should. Let's get back to that quest. See what happened at Kavach. Bigger weapon may help. Equip the claymore here. This is my fast travel map. So even though the world is huge, you can select anywhere you know about in the map and instantly fast travel there. This gets you right to the fun.